The latest update to GarageBand, GarageBand 10, makes it a little trickier than usual to find third-party audio unit plugins. So here's a quick tutorial on how. GarageBand 10 is what's known as sandboxed, so you'll have to allow it to see third-party plugins via preferences and the audio MIDI tab and then making sure this is ticked. Next thing to do is to select software instrument from the track menu. Let's get rid of this. And what we end up with is the classic electric piano instrument by default. From here we go to view and to show smart controls. Then drag this section up so you can see everything before hitting the info button. Now, down here, hidden away so that no one can find it, is the audio unit section. And from the window here, we can select compatible audio units that have been installed on your Mac. For example, here's the GeForce Instruments and here's the Imposca 2. You'll also see a smattering of macro controls over here. OK, let's do that again, but this time let's go and select Mini Monster. Now with Mini Monster loaded, we have a different set of macro controls. So there you go how to select third-party audio units in GarageBand 10 and Mavericks.